Yes! So, what's going on? Um, as you can see from, uh, from that little intro there, we just got to the Lucky Tackle Box for the month of September. The summer is over, guys. We're in September. September. Anyways, I am excited to get this. Um, I have not really put out a lot of videos here over the last couple of weeks. And you know what? I'm dedicating myself to getting through this one and making sure that we get it up and we get it ready and we get it out to you guys uh, so you can check it out. Um, I might toss in a couple of little bonus uh, footage here. I was recently in Arkansas fishing in the, the northern reaches of the Ozarks. And uh, that was fun. That was pretty good success. And I want to throw in possibly a clip on that. If not, I'm going to get that up there anyway. Um, just because I need to, uh, need to put some content out there. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this sucker up for you. I had to flip the camera around. I'm using my phone right now. I couldn't find a... My, my typical um, camera mount, but here we go. We're going to open this sucker up. Got the knife. Sorry if we're shaky. Boom. Open. All right, so we're gonna pop into here. Look at that, that's a nice sticker. I think I might put that on my kayak. Um, I like it. I'll definitely put that on the kayak. Let's take a look here. There's some good baits, and I want to find the card so I can rattle off exactly what we got in here. Um, they're not, they might not have included it. What the deuce? All right. So there's no card in this one. It doesn't look like. Um, that up nothing all right we're gonna play by ear here so the first bait that i i saw in here is going to be a zero gravity um jig uh we got this guy right here it is a white and black uh style so you know it, it's probably going to match up pretty good with with the shad color in a lake feels pretty light um which might play into the zero gravity uh, that's really good. I like that. Um, I don't really like a lot of the heavier jigs. I think it gets down too quick. It gets into the 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 muck, into the weeds and, and rocks and everything like that it's too quick. Puts some extra strain. Um, and although I know it's okay, like I just I have a big fear of my line um, getting roughed up as it's in there. But right there, zero gravity jig. Um, custom lures unlimited um, be pretty excited to toss that out there and uh, good to go on that the next thing that I see here is going to be this uh, Lucker Hunt hatch and spin um, so it's just a little little shad minnow with a spin spinner on there um, it looks like that's a tailing spin spinner so definitely toss that on there uh, a single hook. I'm curious. I, I like Lunker Hunt. I feel like they put out a lot of quality baits, um, but this is a little bit different from what I'm used to fishing with. The one trouble is is strange. It's a smaller profile, um, where almost the spinner is as big as the the minnow. Maybe the minnow, minnow is there more for um, for the fishermen. Like maybe it's just an adaption of a, a spinner bait like I don't know we'll we'll toss it on we'll see I I've never used it and uh, hopefully it does some some well for us here the next and this is good because I've wanted to get some of these guys but it's a Lake Lunkers custom baits um, little frog replicated um, plastics so you know definitely something that I've been looking to to use similar to like it's just like a frog style swim bait. Um, toss it on. You could probably burn it across the top, um, or also let that sink a little bit as well. And then next is 
these are nice. It's going to be a little bit smaller profile, four, just under five inch, well, just about four and a half inch. Um, we got uh, some stick worms. Uh, these, they feel, So they're, they're stick worms, but they're going to be like a, f they, they have flat sides all around. Um, perhaps that tells me that you could do quite a bit with this. So maybe toss a shaky head on it. Maybe, uh, you know, wacky rig it, uh, Texas rig it. Uh, do a couple of different things here with the stick worm. I like it. Uh, it it's a little bit different. Uh, a little different than normal, um, but uh, you know, definitely like it. Uh, um, very interested to see how that that performs out on the lake. Um, and then, lastly, here we have some mustad uh, hooks, and then they have a, a couple of swivel connectors. So um, I don't know why they paired the the two together, but uh, you know, definitely can use those Texas rig style hooks and the swivels will come into play too. Uh, you know, a lot of times that I go out, I bring two, uh, two rod and reel setups. Um, when you do that, it's nice to have a swivel because you can quickly interchange back and forth between your, your lures and, um, you know, that just that swivel end is low profile enough to where, um, it's not something that scares fish away. But uh, that is going to be the Lucky Tackle Box for the month of September of 2006. Um, like I said, I like that sticker. The Lucky Tackle Box sticker game is on point. Um, definitely like it. So, uh, you know, we will definitely get on the lake with these lures. Um, I will definitely point out as well as I'm fishing with any LTB lures and letting you know how those lures do and perform. Till next time, tight lines guys, fishing with Jamie is out. All right, so I ran out of battery on my GoPro and just when that happened, I get the scar. Look at that guy, whew. Nice size. We'll try to land this guy. I've, I've never done, <laughs> never caught a car before, so this is going to be uh, interesting. Interesting to say the least. All right, here we go.